Good evening, everyone. The air has come out of the Atlantic travel bubble. Just moments ago, the Council of Atlantic Premiers announced the delay of the bubble until May 3rd. Here is CTV's Sarah Plowman. Before any official announcement, it became clear the direction the Atlantic bubble is headed. I would say that the Atlantic bubble uh, opening on April 19th would be uh, precarious uh, right now. We are leaning toward pushing back the reopening to sometime in May. Hi, yeah, we're good. where are you coming from? Less than a week before traffic was set to flow Maritime freely Park? across Atlantic Canada again, restrictions at Nova Scotia's border are about to tighten. Starting Thursday at 8 a.m., travelers entering from New Brunswick will have to self-isolate for two weeks. It's crazy because everybody is confused. Nobody knows what they're doing. This is tough, I know, but it's necessary given what we are seeing across the border and in several other provinces. Nova Scotia's premier highlighted what's happening across the border with a lockdown in Edmonston, variant cases in St. John, and other cases under investigation in Moncton. To think that we're going to be out of a lockdown and feel comfortable that, okay, we're, we, we be, we've got this uh, uh, beat, um, I would say is unlikely. It all means the bubble is in trouble, a hit to the hospitality industry that was hoping for a boost. You know, we've seen a 111% increase in active cases since the announcement of the bubble. So I don't think we're really surprised, although I suspect everyone is disappointed. As for when the Atlantic bubble may reopen, Premier Higgs says if New Brunswick gets its numbers back under control, he wouldn't want to wait until June. Premier King says the advice he's getting is that a 14 to 21 day pause is needed, but they'll continue to evaluate each day. Steve? All right, thank you, Sarah. CTV's Sarah Plowman tonight from Fort Lawrence on the Nova Scotia-New Brunswick border.